Hi everyone, I'm so excited to be sharing with you the latest addition to our fine instrument collection for sale at the Sydney String Centre. This is an Arthur Edward Smith instrument and it's only the second time that it's been offered for sale since it was first made in 1952. Now this is a really interesting period in the Smith workshop. Just a couple of years before this was made, Smith was awarded Diplomas of Honour for both a violin and a viola at the Modern Violin Making Exhibition and Competition in The Hague. Then, just a couple of years after this was made, he was commissioned to make an instrument for Isaac Stern. So this is largely considered to be one of the best periods of making that Smith had. The violin has a two-piece maple back, very nicely and evenly flamed which is pretty typical of most instruments from this period. It's in pristine, near mint condition and still has a healthy coat of exquisite golden brown varnish. The scroll is very broad, wide and, and powerful looking. And uh, we've got the finest quality boxwood fittings, boxwood pegs, tailpiece, chin rests. The original bridge cut by Smith himself is still on the instrument and it sits on top of a two-piece spruce top. The original label is still uh, inside the instrument and as is very typical for most Smith instruments, there's a fire stamp with his name on every important surface inside, uh, including very visibly on the back but also the blocks and, and the top if you get a chance to have a look inside. Another really interesting thing about this is uh, it's become part of our study into uh, historically important Australian instruments. And we've recently been able to CT scan the violin. And uh, through those scans, we can see all of the beautiful detail that goes into a Smith violin, um, the thicknesses of the, the top and the back, and all of these things that uh, come together to make a, a beautifully sounding violin. In terms of sound, it's, a, it's designed to project, but it has also been an orchestral instrument. Uh, for most of its uh, working life, it was played in the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. So we know that you could comfortably use it in a professional orchestral setting, or you could use it as a, a very strong, powerful solo instrument. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to try the instrument or you have any comments or questions, please do get in touch via our website at violins.com.au and don't forget to subscribe.